So when the arm is loose, <coughs> when the arm is loose and very relaxed, song. Uh, no muscle tension. Then the arm can be modeled as if it were a double pendulum. The, uh, the pendulum is the grandfather clock thing here where we, we take this piece, there are actually two bones, but we model it as one bone, and we, uh, so the lower bone is, 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 is this bone, see, going like this. While the, the upper bone is this piece, and it not only can go in a uh, hinge type motion, but that is only one slice of possibility because the shoulder joint, the glenoid cup, shallow cup, uh, is basically like a uh, ball joint, whereas the elbow is like a hinge joint. When the arm is loose, and there is no muscle tension. It can be uh, modeled as if it were a pendulum. Do you remember a pendulum? The grandfather clock? Tick, tock, tick, tock. So it just swings. If it's loose, it just swings. And then to the bottom of this pendulum, here, we ta attach another pendulum. So it is like this. So it can swing like this, swing, 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 or like this, swing, swing, swing. Now it's just like the arm. This is this piece. This is This goes, this goes. Now it just so happens I happen to have a uh, pendulum here. And you can see how it swings. And we can model this to the arm. So to illustrate how uh, the arm is a double pendulum, think of this piece as being the, uh, the shoulder joint, and it's attached right here. So the black piece, this piece, is my upper arm, my humerus. The bottom piece is my forearm. You see? And it can go like this. See? Or it can go like this. Turn. Or also it can go like this and turn. Or it can go like this and turn. But it cannot go all the way back like this can or it would break. You see the idea? So So it's like a, uh, a loose thing.
And also it can it can also turn in these directions. These directions. Complicated. This is a simple uh, a simple model. Your muscles without using the shoulder muscles, without using the biceps, the triceps, the rotators, the brachialis. It can move without any use of its own local muscle. And it also, see, it can move. And it also can have an application without any use of its muscle, see? So now, the idea is, is that this is hanging from the ceiling, which is loose, and now you use the legs, which flex and extend, the claw, which opens and closes, the lumbar, which closes and opens, opens and closes, Closes, opens. Closes, opens. The Dantian turns. The torso turns. The chest op closes, opens, closes, opens. And all of that adds together to create there are big angular momentums going this way, another one this way. They all add together to, to add to a resultant total angular momentum that feeds into the arm. And that's the way this works, see? So it just is to illustrate the principle that the arm can have movement arm has application without using the arm. It's just like a, an appendage that's loosely hanging on to the, the rest of the body. Man, oh man, whoa!